Massive thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the retro future. A lot of people ask me how I get my little bargain bits that I managed to find and make videos on. Well, I look around. I posted an ad recently on Facebook Marketplace asking if anyone had any faulty Nintendo Switches. And lo and behold, I managed to get my hands on one for 60 British pounds. 60 quid, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think that's what you did. Uh, uh... I'm glad I put a post up because often people have these things sitting around and... They and, do, uh... yeah. We thought about... It. Mate, thank you so much. See you later. Absolutely insane. That's probably about $80 or something. And look, it even came with the Joy-Cons. Now, I know obviously it's faulty and not everybody's going to be able to uh, repair a faulty switch, but let me tell you about the reason I bought this one. So I asked the seller what was wrong with it. And they basically said it doesn't play games. So I went and had a look at it and I looked inside the cartridge slot and I saw some bent pins. So I thought, Brilliant. Literally, I know that those things, the replacement cartridge slot boards are probably 15, 20 pounds. I'm going to buy one, fit it, see if it works. By the way, it also came with the dock, the charger and the HDMI cable, which is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to replace the cartridge connector. And the other thing as well that I noticed is there's some Joy-Con drift on the joysticks. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in a little bit. We're also going to pop these open and replace the joystick. So it's going to be a nice little Nintendo Switch service. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. So just before we get started, let me show you the problem that we're dealing with. So you can see it turns on and it's absolutely fine. If I go to plug in a game, it does not read it. And you can actually see the bent pin as well, which I'll take a little photo of and show you on the screen. So yeah, that is the problem that we're dealing with. And the other one as well, as I mentioned, was the Joy-Con uh, joystick drift. They're very, very unresponsive. And you can see that there. I, don't, I was going to open up the um, joystick thing, but you don't even need to see it. You can literally see how bad the joystick drift is there. So I'm going to replace those anyway. It's something that you can do as well. It's very simple and it gives some more life to your Joy-Cons and saves you having to buy new ones. So let's have a go then at repairing this switch. So I'll start by removing the nunchucks and turning off the PlayStation 1. Once this operation has been completed, I then proceed to remove a screw. And then I remove another screw. And then I take out another screw. And then another... another screw that needs to be removed, followed by another screw. Once that screw has been removed, remove the next. Then you lift the back off. Wow, it's dusty. I'm playing with someone else's skin cells. Then you have to remove a screw. Another screw. Okay, I'll stop. Then lift off the metal thing and unplug the battery because batteries are scary. Then we remove the cooling system. Wow, that's cool. And there's a tumbleweed for my bad jokes. Here's the new card reader. This is what we'll be replacing. It's fairly straightforward. You just replace it. And then we can test it. And wow, would you look at that? It doesn't work. Oh yes, it does. Then we take the magical can of winds given to me by Mindy and then remove the dust. After that, it's a case of putting the case back on. And that's a case solved. Mm -hmm. 
And that's that. Now for some joy pros. These appear scary to work on, but they're actually very straightforward and are mostly made up of plastic. And plastic's not that scary. Just be sure to remove this battery with extreme caution as it could kill you horribly. We can now see the joystick. It's a fairly simple thing to remove, but unfortunately it's trapped under all of these little ribbon cables. But once they're all unplugged, you can just take it out. I bought a two pack of joysticks on eBay for a tenner, so you can see why it's worth fixing your old ones instead of buying new ones. Then we just put the whole thing back together. I did it! I finally managed to get a faulty cartridge reader and joystick. Oh wait, that wasn't the point. In all seriousness, I spent about 25 pounds, I think, to that 60, 70, 85 pounds. That's a bargain for a Nintendo Switch, which also came with the dock. A really nice little repair as well. There's a couple of things this definitely could do with. Um, it definitely needs the little metal latch replacement, um, like hack mod that you can do, uh, which is really not a difficult one at all to do. And I've already done that on this channel, so if you wanna watch a video um, on that, check out the card. Um, but I might order some more and just make a little second channel update video because as you can see, it's a little bit dodgy that they can slide out that easily. Um, it could also do with a new kickstand as well. This one is like really, really flimsy and just falls out. Um, I'm sure that could also just be like a deal with bending the metal to make it stay in a little bit easier. I don't know, it's not a huge deal. This thing now works. I've reset it as well, so it is fully uh, right back to the start of its Nintendo Switch life. Um, as you saw, obviously um, it works perfectly. I showed you it reading the cartridge, which is absolutely brilliant. So I'm not gonna go through all this rigmarole of uh, setting the thing up. Eventually this is gonna be up on my eBay for sale, um, which I'll be announcing on my Twitter. So uh, yeah, just follow me on Twitter and check it out. Massive thank you for everyone watching this video. Um, I think it's a really good lesson to show that you can give things a new lease of life with fairly low experience. It's not like I did any real repair here. It's just sort of swapping out something broken for something um, that works. And it's quite an inexpensive and easy thing to do. So I recommend you should try it. If you can, don't take apart your working switch. That's a bad idea. But see if you've got any faulty switches kicking about on Facebook Marketplace. Massive thank you to watching this video and a huge thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Did you know two out of three guys will experience male pattern baldness before the age of 35? The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then the treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. 
We all make jokes about receding hairline and baldness, but those sorts of things can greatly affect a man's mental health and confidence. Check out Keeps through the link in the description of this video or go to www.keeps.com forward slash TRF and start the process because with hair loss, prevention is key. I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.